Hi, I'm Mark Reagan, Director of Music at Christ Church, and I'll be talking about our Hymn of the Month for August, which is God is Our Refuge and Strength, and you can find that in the Contus Christi song number 91A and B. This is a, a psalm paraphrase of Psalm 46, and it comes from the, the Scottish Psalter. I could tell you just a little bit about that source. So the Scottish Psalter was published in 1650, and this would have been a time just following the, the Westminster Assembly at the point where uh, Reformed Christianity was really on the, on the rise or at, at a really at a high watermark in England. So the Scottish Psalter was, uh, was a collection of psalm paraphrases that was developed at, at, at that time. And of course, it's, we, we nicknamed it the Scottish Psalter because it was actually largely used in Scotland and not in, in England. But when you're singing the Scottish Psalms, oftentimes you're going to get a, the, probably the closest psalm paraphrase to what you find in the King James version translation of the of the scriptures so they map pretty close to what you're reading in the King James version so you can find this one God is a refuge and strength uh, as song number 91 a and B in the Contus Christi and when you're singing this song you're going to notice that we have a little bit of a, an angular melody That sounds like this, I'll sing it. God is our refuge and our strength. So this leaping about. So this this very what I'm what I'm saying is a is a I'm characterizing this as a as an angular uh, melody. One of the reasons that this works and works with this particular text is that this this sort of angular melody that goes that, that goes pretty far afield up and down like that is a is a picture of the massive protection of the forest the the of the fortress walls of Jerusalem so you can sort of see them as you're surveying with your eyes the top of the wall to the bottom of the wall is a very very uh, great um, height and so this sort of melodic image of the fortress walls uh, that's depicted here in the psalm reminds us of what you see in Ephesians chapter 3 verses 18 and 19 which Paul prays that the Ephesians would be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of God and of course the uh, when we're singing Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength. We're not singing that the walls of Jerusalem are is our refuge and strength, although they do provide physical protection. But that is God Himself that's um, that's our protector. When you're singing through this, you'll notice a sort of a refrain that that happens, and you see this in the the sixth and then the tenth stanza. I'll read those to you. The Lord of hosts upon our side doth constantly remain. The God of Jacob's our refuge, us safely to maintain. That's six. And then ten is much like it. Our God, who is the Lord of hosts, is still upon our side. The God of Jacob, our refuge, forever will abide. So that's sort of the, the theme of the psalm, that, that it is God, the God of Jacob, who is our refuge and is with us forever. And so this is a, a, an excellent psalm about God's protection, and particularly as we're waging spiritual warfare, it's a song that, that we can sing together to strengthen our faith and to remind us of God being with us, protecting us.